He should have never said, I love you. He'd somehow made a miscalculation, like an unfortunate bomb maker who winds back the device only to set it off in his face. This time, too, he did what he had always done, again expecting the best possible outcome despite all his past fumblings. And so he then sized up the puddle as if it were a pool and took one more swan dive into the concrete. It wasn't enough for her to let him down easy. He wanted her to destroy him. His heart was a bird's nest filled with all of his delicate eggs, pitched to a running back on third and long, precisely when all of the offensive line decided to drop dead on the field. There were multiple options. Take a knee, lateral it to some other poor SOB, run for the first. But only one of them mattered. One of them counted. There was nothing else to choose from but the touchdown. This was the hill he chose to die on. Why this time, like all those times before, he didn't measure up? Was it her measuring stick? Why then did she speak to him with her eyes? Was it some fault in the stars? Why then did he dream of her in color? He set his heart on a funeral pyre, lit it on fire and set it sailing toward a watery grave. In the flames, in the shadows of the flames, Maybe he would discover something. Maybe he could interpret the smoke signals and recover all of the energy and affection he'd so carelessly offered to the tepid embrace of the world.